The Sandful as well. Peter Burgoyne inside 50 towards Westhoff who flew. Got there for the contest. I couldn't bring the mark down. Chip kick is good. McGlynn. It's been in magnificent form. His pass a little wide for Osmond, but he'll pounce. He left it behind. Now he sizes them up. Caught by Pettigrew on the kick. And a mark taken by Boyle. That was a magnificent kick there from Osborne. He just sensed that Wakeland was playing in front. And one thing about Darrell Wakeland, he's a very good defender, but sometimes he just allows his direct opponent to get in behind him there. But Osmond just assessed the situation beautifully, as we see here. Good pressure on the kick, but just kick the ball over Wakeland's head and a good mark by Boyle. Kicked three goals last week. Tim Boyle, three straight. Another accurate kick in the competition. 18-10 for his season so far and they've got their opener Adelaide at the moment lead 34 to 7 with five and a half minutes left to quarter time from the ball up Mitchell handball out Campbell Smith shoots it back to Sewell wide ball it's all about the bounce okay but Young had to wait for it got pushed in the back Good Crawford yep. spears it to Bateman. Runs to 50. Top of the square. Centering kick. Tough one to mark. Hodge, a little bump. Wakeland, great tackle. Franklin, dispossessed. Osmond, a chance to pounce. Well played, Pettigrew. Body on the line. Hodge, Boyle, slips it around the body. And he's scored it. He's got both goals. Chad Corns now assigned to Sam Mitchell. So... Have a look at the size difference here. Chad Corn, six foot three. Mitchell, about five ten. McGlynn, that's a better shot. Much better. It's long. It's there. Nice shot from McGlynn. Distance. Tough one to mark for White. Gillum with the punch. Down towards Westoff. Well played. The first game of wins it again. Treadray. White. Laid. Gray, left it behind, Guerra, to half forward, Osborne, Pettigrew's with him, and Port Adelaide with numbers back, Chad Corns, caught by Osborne, no free, Pettigrew, Kane Corns, Peter Burgoyne, turnover, Sewell, Lewis, Boyle, dishes it up, kick is... Good goal. He's got it through. He didn't think he kicked it. He wasn't celebrating, Osmond, but it's there. Well, it was a great leg break in the end, right? It looked like it was going to go through for a point, but good pressure from Hawthorne. They've just started this quarter a little yep. bit better, Jacko, and you just see he just working the ball forward, keeping the ball alive. As we see the ball here, it looked like a, oh, yeah, no, a very good kick there. But the positive sign was when the ball went into Port's 50. I just watched their defenders. Jacobs on Treadray and Gillum on White. They played a lot closer, a little bit more aggressive. So it's a good goal there from Hawthorne. It's a high tackle. Free kick Hawthorne. Well, you don't blame him there, Dwayne. Ben McGlynn, he's, he's not a <laughs> giant, so... Neither's Robert Gray. McGlynn to Guerra. Starting to run a bit in our Hawthorne. Trying to uh, open it up a bit. Young, speaking of runners... Sends it long to the goal square. Franklin's down there. Good Can't kick. get a fly. Smith, back of the pack. Well, well read. Yeah. It was a great, strong kick from Clinton Young. It really does put the defence in. Oh, no, actually, we've got a free kick. He's got a push. Yeah, there's the nudge. Two hands oh. in the back. Oh. Straight in the back there. Pettigrew. So, there's the rule. that's the rule. I mean, if they're going to pay it, that, that's yeah. the most important thing. They're going to pay it consistently. And we've seen at times, even well, this weekend, they haven't. Well, that actually was in the back anyway. Yeah. Not only right hands on the back. That actually pushed the momentum yep. forward on yep. Pettigrew. So no that, doubting that one. That was always there. Late. Almost a turnover. Is a turnover. Franklin from 40. Nails it. Here they come, the Hawks. Oh, that's two goals in the last two minutes have come from their turnovers. Port Adelaide turnovers. They'd be very, very disappointed there. But uh, I mean, Jordan Lewis there, you see, uh, in that previous contest, a push out in the back. But uh, Buddy Franklin, he pounced on that, which was we very good. Jordan Lewis came through. Jordan Lewis. Yeah. That was a great spoil. Just the little things that count. And you've got to make, take your chances. They've had a few opportunities in this quarter to get into the game. But they're just working their way back into the game, the Hawks, which is a real pleasing sign for a young team. Long in the white direction, one on one. Well done, Gillum. 
Gillam and White. Oh, White well fights on. Handles it over the top. Gray through traffic to Wester. Couldn't quite steer it. Hawthorne with numbers back. Brown missed it. Laid it for it. Had no choice. Ebert tucked up against the boundary. Centering kick. Terrible for Hawthorne. Just a rush of blood there for yeah. young Ebert. Just had to give the ball some height to the top of the square to allow Tred Ray to get onto it. Oh, just a good intensity from both yeah, sides. I mean, hitting the pack, mate, taking their opportunities and forcing turnovers by both sides. Tempo's lifted, as have the Hawks. Crawford to Smith. Held up. Good Inside tip. 50 towards Hodge. Gets there. Well, great movie of Melissa Clarkson. Hodge last week. Yeah. They needed someone, a money man, to go forward. Hodge was the man kicking three. He's a class hack, Luke Hodge. He's 3-2 from five shots last week. Luke Hodge. Equally good kick from Joel Smith. Just put the ball to space. Nothing the Port defender could do with that kick. And didn't bomb away. Waited for the right option. Had the poise. He's got the good skills. Player been around a long time. Great experience. Important to hit him up. That's what Hodge has in front of him. Nice off the boot. He's happy. They're sneaking ever closer. Important that he gets back on the ground soon. Both teams already down one man. Crawford spears it inside 50 to Franklin. Well, impossible to yeah. defend. Thurston's was right on Franklin's head. Franklin jumped early, but it was the kick from Crawford. Just put the ball to grass. As we see, he hit over the ball. Beautiful skill. Jump early, Franklin. Impossible to defend. Already got one in this term. One for the afternoon, Lance Franklin. He's is coming around beautifully. Oh. He's got two. It's goal for goal and Amy. Yeah, I was surprised he got Diddley, Sid, because I, I just felt he's always still a young player when he had that injury. So, you know, it does take 12 to 18 months, and he's come back. And he's, he's been very good for him this year in, uh, in, in a fair few games, actually. Lewis to Guerra. Speaking of players who've changed clubs, Brent Guerra, 65 games for Port Adelaide, 31 St Kilda, and then off to the Hawks, Brent Guerra. This is his second season at Hawthorne and he actually played under Alistair Clarkson at Port Adelaide when Alistair Clarkson was an assistant coach here at Port Adelaide and played under him at Central Districts when Alistair Clarkson coached in the SANFL. So Clarkson knew what he had in store when he recruited Brent Guerra and that is a magnificent kick. Six minutes left on the clock. Earlier played yesterday for Box Hill kicked four goals and was best on ground jumped on a flight this morning to get here in time and the Hawks are on fire at the moment Taylor got it from Smith gave it to Mitchell loops the handle to half foot they don't get it he goes towards Bentley boundary line looming keeps it alive to Robert Gray no one to go to Guerra so the turnover has been forced again Ellis Crawford the numbers Ellis. in the middle Taylor McGlynn's on his own. And McGlynn can run in and kick the goal and extend the lead from 50. Long drop punt. Straight under the goal on pass hat. They're playing Port Adelaide on a break. Well, we sung the praise of young Robert Gray, but out in that out of uh, back flank or forward, forward uh, 50 out there, he had to take the ball out, Danny. He had to just take the ball out of the line because Hawthorne just came back through the corridor, through Crawford and uh, McGlynn on the end of it. He'll get credit of the goal, but uh, being the first gamer, just had to learn to take that ball out because it would have been a stoppage over there and wasted a bit more time on the clock. This is what they don't want, Port Adelaide, coming down at uh, 11 points down.